Okay, we have all been there. You were searching through the websites or scrolling through your Instagram page and suddenly an amazing visualization catches your eyes. Such a gorgeous image may even seem undoable for you. Hmm, sounds familiar? Don't worry, now is the time to change this. I'm Aga from Agvis Artist and I'm gonna show you how to instantly make your images look better. Let's dive in! Step number one, camera angles. Selecting a camera angle most of the time is the first thing we do during the process. We can drastically change the perception of the image based on the camera we choose. This is why we need to think about this a little more. No more shortcuts, no more excuses. Don't just do the easiest camera angle, the one that always works. Take a couple extra minutes and think about your composition. Move your camera around, move to the right, move to the left, go to the back and front. Point the camera up slightly and then point it down a little. Test some different heights, maybe imitate the waist position or shooting from the knees. In the interiors, even if your goal is to capture the essence of the scene as a whole, don't be afraid to come in closer and focus on the smaller details. Create it with uh, bedside cabinets, coffee tables or above. In the exteriors, you don't need to always show the whole elevation. Sometimes a closer shot can explain space even better. Just take these few extra minutes and think to yourself how I can improve this image. And play with this a bit. Step number two, shoot through something. Instead of just trying to set the camera angle, try to shoot through something. Create an interesting depth of field. Let me show you. First, we need to turn on depth of field in the camera. Place an object in front of a camera and create soft out of focus blur in the foreground. Maybe put a plant or a corner of an armchair. Don't be afraid to play around with this a bit. Whatever it will be, Think about the colors and textures you are introducing. It shouldn't be too distracting, rather gentle and barely visible in the first glimpse. In this way, you can bring the depth to your image and make your visualization look more dynamic. It also frames your image in an interesting way and draws your viewer's attention to the most important part in the scene. Give it a try and have some fun. Include blue and orange colors of light into your scene. Blue and orange colors are opposite to each other on the color wheel. It means that they are complementary colors. These colors offer the strongest contrast, create a vivid and energetic effect. You should use this duet a lot. Let me show you. For example, in the exterior shots you can use a cold blue dusk sky with the warmth coming from the orange interior light. Or in the interiors, you can set the blue environmental light with the orange artificial light. Or you can look behind me. This is a good example as well. Step number four. Think about the details. Choose your subject first and then compose the rest of the scene. You need to think what you want to show in the frame. Just a few elements, perhaps some books, maybe pillows on the couch or the back in the corner, that helps tell a story without drawing away your viewer's attention from the main subject. But remember, it is super easy to overdo this. Every time you want to put additional elements, ask yourself, what is my subject? And remove all distracting elements. These extra things should be only the complement of your scene, just to give some extra touch. Try to think what will be the most common place where everybody else will set their cameras and consider different positions. 
Ask yourself, what will be completely opposite from what everybody else will do in this situation? It doesn't mean that you always need to do something completely opposite. It is just worth trying and try to find your own way of doing things. Okay, now tell me which of these tips you have found the most useful or maybe you would like to add something else? Tell me in the comments. Anyway, all of these few tips will help you to take your visualization to the next level. They are not complicated. I would say that these are the basic that every, every 3D artist should know and use. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video. Ooh.